So today we are learning Kanizaro reaction which is shown by the aldehydes that do not have alpha hydrogen atoms. Under strongly basic conditions, the aldehydes with no alpha hydrogen undergo disproportionation to give half alcohol and half carboxylate that is the salt of a carboxylic acid and disproportionation means one half of the sample is oxidized by the other half which is itself reduced. If you take formaldehyde, two molecules in presence of concentrated NaOH, then a mixture of an alcohol and salt of a carboxylic acid is formed. So this is methanol and this is sodium formate. Let's take another example, benzaldehyde. So two molecules of benzaldehyde on treatment with concentrated NaOH give a mixture of benzyl alcohol and sodium benzoate. So, in this reaction, half the aldehyde reduces the other half to a primary alcohol and is oxidized to the carboxylate or salt of a carboxylic acid. Now, let us look at the mechanism of Kanizaro reaction. This reaction is an example of hydride ion transfer and hydration of aldehydes is catalyzed by base. So step 1, the OH negative is going to attack the electrophilic carbonyl group of the aldehyde molecule and this is a nucleophilic attack. Here I am taking formaldehyde, you can take benzaldehyde, the mechanism is same. So the OH negative attacks and an anion is formed. This is known as hydroxy alkoxide. Now step 2. This hydroxy alkoxide or the anion behaves as the hydride ion donor and hydride is very much unstable to be released in the solution. But if there is a suitable electrophile that is the second molecule of the aldehyde then hydride is transferred to the electrophilic center of the second molecule and this negative charge drops so we get HCOOH that is formic acid plus another alkoxide ion. Now what happens? Proton exchange occurs between these two. Proton exchange occurs to acquire stability and finally form it and the alcohol methanol is formed. Now let us discuss the cross Kanizaro reaction. Like cross aldol condensation, Kanizaro reaction can also occur between two different molecules of aldehyde. For example, benzaldehyde and formaldehyde. When they react in presence of concentrated NaOH, then a mixture of 
बेंजाइल एल्कोहल एंड सोडियम फॉर्मेट इज फॉर्मड दिस इज बेंजाइल एल्कोहल एंड दिस इज सोडियम फॉर्मेट नाउ द क्वेश्चन अराइजेज वाई बेंजाइल एल्कोहल वाई नॉट मिथानॉल द रीजन इज फॉर्मेल डिहाइड इज मोस्ट रिएक्टिव टूवर्ड्स न्यूक्लियोफ्लिक अटैक सो लेट सी द मेकेनिज्म ऑफ क्रॉस कैनिजर रिएक्शन the mechanism is similar to the normal canizero reaction here in step 1 formaldehyde is attacked by the base oh negative to form the anion known as hydroxy alkoxide this is hydroxy alkoxide which behaves as the hydride ion donor in step 2 hydride is transferred to the electrophilic center of benzaldehyde so first we get the formic acid plus an alkoxide ion and then proton exchange occurs to acquire stability and finally formate plus benzyl alcohol is formed so we have seen intermolecular canizero reaction that takes place between two different or two same molecules of aldehyde now let's see the intramolecular canizero reaction this intramolecular canizero reaction is the reaction which uh, in which the same molecule undergoes oxidation as well as reduction for example this is glyoxal so in glyoxal two aldehyde groups are present so when glyoxal is treated with concentrated naoh first we get sodium glycolate the same molecule undergoes oxidation as well as reduction and the name of this compound is sodium glycolate now if we treat this sodium glycolate with dilute acid let's say dilute hcl then glycolic acid is formed this is known as glycolic acid so this is called the intramolecular canizero reaction so this is all for today i'll see you in the next video